Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will learn how to break our existing pipe element, add a reducer and add a T and insert new elements. So let's start. First click the element in which you want to break and click on the break and then enter the new node number. I am here putting like 70 sorry 76 and the distance of which you want to break and ok and you can see here the element was breaked in two parts ok now let's add a reducer to add a reducer first just input a pipe element of the length of reducer I am here putting like 200 mm and then double click on the B31J reducer and specify the other side pipe diameter and thickness and that's it the reducer is done you can see here and our next step is to add a T so for that purpose let us add a few pipe elements in the Z direction and add another like here putting 750 mm another element and suppose I want to insert a new pipe from the node 120 so for that click on the previous element which is 110 to 120 and click this insert button after and ok and for 120 add a new unique node number suppose 140 and give the direction 750 and here our new element and to specify the T here just click on the element double click on the SIF and T's mention the SIF node number I am here 120 because the three pipes are connected in that node and uh, type welding and you can see the node uh, sorry the T is specified here and if it doesn't show you can turn on this T button ok that's it and let us add a support also at the last node uh, y okay guys that's it for today